Well, something else you could do this weekend, especially to escape the heat, is to catch a movie. Film critic Jim Ferguson is standing by with one of the latest. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. Today, our Hollywood happening travels back to England. It's the summer of 1962, a year away from Beatlemania and the sexual revolution. Florence, played by Saoirse Ronan, is from a prosperous conservative home and falls in love with Edward, played by Billy Howell. His family is chaotic and liberal. It's a vast contrast to start a marriage. Here's Saoirse Ronan and author Ian McEwan. Saoirse, Ian, congratulations. What a wonderful film that I could relate with since I was an 18-year-old father. You know? Wow. <laughs> oh. yeah. um, it's not a musical on Chisel Beach, but Saoirse, would you agree with me that music is really important to these characters? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I think that's actually a big part of how they communicate with one another and how they express themselves mm -hmm. to one another. Mm -hmm. He introduces her to, you know, jazz and this more sort of modern style of music and that opens up a whole new world a for whole her. New world, right. She's got this incredible power and, and handle over classical music and that gives her a sort of structure and also um, freedom when when she plays. Mm -hmm. So it tells a story in itself. I think music. it does. It's a bit of a part of the failure of communication. Right from the beginning, they're on the beach, and he's telling her how a twelve-bar blues works, and he says, "You're in E." And she says, "The tonic." <laughs> no one, no blues man. Uh, then she says, "Then we go to a seventh. A minor seventh might be better." <laughs> And instantly, when he's trying to hear some Chuck Berry on the radio, she says that Elvis or Hank person. So they're always quite missing <laughs> I, each other yeah. a bit. I on love the music. that part of the movie. That's yeah. why I opened my interview with it. But um, would you agree this couple, Florence and Edward, were in the wrong place at the wrong time? Well, um, they were just in the place. Whether it's right or wrong, it's just inevitable. You know, we find ourselves you know, in our historical context. They can't get out of it. Um, but it's not a time when it's easy to talk about emotions oh. and uh, that warming up of human relations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. was going to happen later on in that decade. Mm -hmm. uh, it's possible that F Florence could have told herself and then told Edward about uh, what happened between herself and her father long ago in her past. Saoirse, two questions in one. Working with Billy, of course, was your second time, and mm -hmm. the chemistry between the two of you is, is simply amazing. Uh, and um, working on the beach, could you answer both those questions? It was great that Billy and I had worked together before, because I, before On Chesil Beach had started, I had just finished Lady Bird and had this crazy week and a half where I flew back and forth between the two. So I rehearsed on Chesil Beach and then I went to film Lady Bird and having him and knowing the way he worked and him knowing the way I worked and us having already, hmm. you know, developed a, a, a rapport with each other made it so much easier mm -hmm. um, because we both totally had to rely on each other, you know. And with the beach scene, I think, at that stage, we had been shooting the film for a few weeks and had really found our groove and um, really took care of each other. And, and he was he was great with me and um, I hope I was with him. And, you know, it was so important to get that right and to find all of the light and shade in it. We're here. Married. Nothing went wrong. Even my mother behaved herself. He set eyes on me for the first time. Hello. Hello. And I saw a man who wasn't wearing a jacket. Nonsense. Oh, yes. And trousers with a mend in the knee. Did you think then it was love at first sight? Marry that girl. Edward. <laughs> what? Actually, I'm a little bit scared. What does his father do? You mean, does he work in class or one of us? That's more or less what I mean. You don't seem quite as happy as you should. Something's bothering you, Flo. Come on, Flo, it's easy. Just point and choose. Something about yourself, a little delicate. The sex manual says women are like doorways. Men can enter through them. For God's sake, Florence. How long have you been there? I thought I'd just... I asked you a question, Dalek. 
Are you all right? I'm feeling rather sick. What is it, darling? Nothing. Well, in my opinion, on Chisel Beach is a somewhat slow but beautiful look at a coming-of-age story based on Ian McEwan's best-selling 2007 novel. Although it's set in 1962 England, the story is, for that time, universal. Sir Ronan again gives an exceptional performance and was well supported by her co-star Billy Howell. It's drama at its best, and it's rated R, my grade a solid B. While also opening today, Solo, a Star Wars story starring Woody Harrelson, Future World starring James Franco, and Mary Shelley starring Elle Fanning. I'm going to see you next Tuesday in the Morning Blend to showcase the new movie, Adrift.